By now, everyone knows that Pokemon can learn a variety of different moves that can give them advantages in a battle. Some are offensive and some are defensive in nature. Some do direct damage and some do not. But in the first six generations of Pokemon games, some moves also had an outside of battle effect. These were known as field moves and they come in two different forms. The first of these, Hidden Machines, or HMs, are a way for the older games to block access to certain areas until the player has progressed to a certain point of the game that allows them to use these moves. We are not here in today's video to talk about those. Instead, today's video is about the moves that were introduced across the games earlier in Pokemon's lifespan that had an out-of-battle effect but were not HMs. There are actually quite a few, and a few I didn't even know had certain effects until I did research for this video. Generation 1 introduced the first series of non-HM field moves in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow with the moves Dig, Teleport, and Soft Boiled. I've talked about Dig and Teleport in a previous video on the Trainer Fly or Mew Glitch, so you can go watch that if you haven't already, but Dig and Teleport are used to move the player away from their current area. Dig can be used inside of dungeons, like the Viridian Forest, Rock Tunnel, Mount Moon, and even Pokemon Mansion, while Teleport can be used on the overworld outside of buildings and dungeons, so on areas like Route 24, Route 25, Route 20, Route 21, so on and so forth. These moves, when used, will teleport the player to the last used Pokemon Center, Dig would later be changed in Gold and Silver to instead transport the player to just outside of the dungeon that they escaped from. Soft Boiled is the unique move out of the three, and if you've used the Pokemon Chansey, you may recognize it. In battle, Soft Boiled is just like the move Recover and heals the Pokemon using it for 50% of their max HP. But outside of battle, Soft Boiled can be used by the same Pokemon to give 20% of their HP to another Pokemon in the party, allowing you to heal your Pokemon even if you don't have access to a Pokemon Center or potions at the current moment. Generation 2 would introduce the most moves with out of battle effects that aren't HMs with four new moves. Hi, editor version of me here. Somehow between writing the script for this video and recording audio, I didn't catch this mistake that Headbutt is not a move introduced in Generation 2. It's been introduced in Generation 1, gained out of battle use in Generation 2. Anyway, on with the video. The first of these we'll talk about is Rock Smash. Now, Rock Smash would become an HM in later generations, but in this game, it is a TM but it has the same effect of being able to break certain rocks on the overworld. These rocks can sometimes contain Pokemon, like Shuckle or Item. Two other moves introduced in Gold and Silver with out-of-battle effects are the moves Sweet Scent and Headbutt. The first of these, Headbutt, can allow you to encounter certain Pokemon that can't be encountered otherwise by headbutting certain small trees across the Johto region. The way the game decides which Pokemon can be encountered through this method is a little convoluted and is almost worth a small video in its own. Pokemon found through Headbutt can even be asleep. Sweet Scent, by contrast, is very basic and simply just forces the player to have an encounter with a wild Pokemon as long as the tile they're standing on can produce one. This includes tall grass, water, caves, forests like Ilex Forest, and even the floors of areas like Pokemon Mansion. In the Generation 6 game, Sweet Scent can also be used to force Horde encounters. The last of the four moves introduced in Generation 2 is Milk Drink, which is exactly the same as Soft Boiled, but is only learnable by Miltank. Because of this, I didn't even know that Milk Drink could be used outside of battle for this effect until I did research for this video. Moving on to Generation 3, these games only introduce a single new move that can be used outside of battle, and that move is Secret Power. Secret Power is a unique move in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald that allows you to interact with certain areas and open up secret bases. Secret bases in and of themselves are an entirely other mechanic, which also could be its own video. Also in this generation, Rock Smash was promoted into an HM. Generation 4 didn't change a whole lot, although one of the original HMs actually lost its status as an HM and became a TM. The move Flash from the first Pokemon games of Red and Blue was turned into a TM in Diamond and Pearl, but it still has its out-of-battle effect to light up certain dark areas, namely Wayward Cave, a cave that is underneath Cycling Road 
on Route 208 south of Eterna City. Last but certainly not least, introduced in Diamond and Pearl would be one final move with an out-of-battle effect, and it's quite a weird one. Exclusive to one Pokemon, the move Chatter, learned by Chatot, can be used on the overworld to record the player's voice through the Nintendo DS's microphone and replace Chatot's cry with whatever is recorded. Now, Generation 4 was the generation where people wanted to share silly things online, so naturally, I've got to get Chatot to say a mean word. Heck. <laughs> DS microphones. Interestingly, when recording your voice with chatter, the voice clip becomes heavily distorted, probably in order to stop stuff like that from happening. Generation 5 doesn't add any new moves with out-of-battle effects or change any existing moves to have out-of-battle effects. However, the moves that already have an outside-of-battle effect are retained as long as they have some sort of use in the Unova region. Moves like Headbutt, Secret Power, and Rock Smash don't have an out-of-battle use in these games, but Dig, Teleport, and Sweet Scent still do. Generation 6 would be the final generation where field moves existed in every game of the generation. The Kalos games include a few extra features to the move Flash, namely allowing you to zoom out the camera inside of specific caves and lower the encounter rate, but no new moves would be added. As I mentioned earlier, the only other major change that Generation 6 would make would be to include Horde battles with the function of the Sweet Scent move. Starting in Generation 7 with Pokemon Sun and Moon, HMs and field moves in general would be removed from the series for good. Let's Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee would replace the HMs with similar secret techniques that are used specifically by the partner Pikachu and Eevee. Sword and Shield, as well as Scarlet and Violet, do not have any HMs or field moves as these would be replaced by other functions similar to Sun and Moon. The one exception is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, where all usable field moves from Diamond and Pearl are brought over one to one and can be used the same way. In conclusion, the concept of field moves was an interesting idea that they came up with for earlier games in the series in order to add some variety to the adventure. Unfortunately, they've fallen by the wayside in recent years, but they don't necessarily need to make a comeback. They've been replaced with things that just generally make the games much more streamlined anyway, but for their time, I think that field move in general were very interesting. I'm going to have a video at some point on the history of HMs themselves, as I felt that both of these things could have their own separate videos. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. This is a bit of a shorter video, but I did think this topic was worth having a separate video outside of HMs. I was originally going to have them as one big video, but I think these do deserve their own video. I find these moves to be pretty handy in playthroughs, so it was just something I wanted to talk about. I'm going to be doing a couple more of these smaller videos as I prep up because I've got a much bigger video planned in the near future. But anyway, if you enjoyed, let me know. Comments down below, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye